Hello everyone, welcome to Walking and Talking with Phoenix. Uh, today's food for thought, gay marriage. Should it be legalized? Should it be illegalized? Is it wrong? Is it evil? Or is it just as acceptable and beautiful as any other kind of celebration of love and unity? Now, personally, I'm going to begin with focusing on love and what it means to love. So is love something tangible? Is it something we can measure with a ruler or way in a machine? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's something a lot more abstract. It's based on our way of relating to each other and our feelings and our heart. You know, something more subjective than it is concrete and objective. So with that basis in mind, I think love can be experienced in a wide range of ways depending on the person and my personal belief I think it can be experienced between opposite genders as well as the same genders uh, you know and I'm not just talking about brotherly love brother loves it you know son loves his father of course it's acknowledged that a same gender can can love you know the same gender whatever but uh but I'm talking about you know a romantic love you know love that makes you want to share your existence and fall and rise with that certain special someone. So, over here in Australia at, the, at present it's illegal to marry someone of the same gender and a lot of people, especially in Sydney, are kicking and sinking, are kicking a stink up about all this. Uh, but all over Australia, even Perth, a lot of friends I have, a lot of people I know, and in particular, they're upset about the fact that, you know, the discrimination, you know, this law that says that man and woman are allowed to be officially recognized as lovers united and people of same gender relationships can't have that recognition and have their love validated and officialized. Now, if this was a matter purely of, you know, marriage being a religious thing and Therefore, since apparently, even though I can't find it in the scriptures, but apparently uh, Christianity rules out same gender marriage, then then it's a it's a case in point that therefore, since marriage is a religious thing and religion disapproves of homosexuality or lesbians, therefore homosexuals and lesbians can't get married, since it's based in the very religion which condemns such relationships. Now I think that the unfair factor in all of this is the fact that when you get married it actually does make differences and provide benefits to people financially and I'm not exactly sure with one, I haven't really researched, you know, uh, the benefits and the perks of getting married but I know that they exist and I'm just going to assume that they're significant. Feel free to fill me in. So. You know, I think that it's unfair that, one, people of a particular religion or, or ideal ideology or belief system are rewarded when those particular religious people choose to officialize their love, whereas people that go against that ideology who want to officialize their love are negated from those privileges and reject it pretty much from being able to benefit the same way. Really I think that anyone that wants to unite under the name of love, the banner of love, should be able to do so and regardless of what religion it's attached to and ideology it's a part of, that the same benefits and privileges should be rewarded to everybody equally regardless of gender and regardless of your own religion. Because really to single out one particular ideology and person that subscribes to this and, and allow those people privileges and benefits and perks and the ability to officialize their love and then to, to rule out everyone else or homosexuals, anyone that happens to go against that belief system, it is discrimination. And it's, it's heavily ironic because love is something which should be all encompassing and unconditional and not something which the criteria, 
you know, for officializing it depends on discrimination. It's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit, you know, contradicting. You know, we will, we will approve of your love, but we'll do it in the most discriminatory way possible. If anything, I think a loving approach should be taken in the domain of love and determining what is acceptable for people to get married or to at least have uh, ceremonial bondings. And I think ceremonial bondings, if, if it is a religious thing, fine, gays shouldn't be allowed to get married, fine. But then the perks, same perks and the same privileges for marriage should apply to same gender uh, ceremonial bonding or bonding ceremonies. So that's my belief on that. I think it's silly and ludicrous to judge and weigh the value of one person's love over another because of some ideology or because of what body parts they have or any kind of superficial aspect. Love isn't something superficial. It's not concrete. It's not objective. And it is something that is essentially a metaphysical experience which unites people of all colors and all genders and all ages and all forms uh, together under that same one single banner of love which is unconditional if we want to officialize love with marriage or bond uh, ceremonies then we should officialize it not by looking at what is objective and not by being conditional and discriminating but we should accept it by being unconditional and we should face it with love to bestow you know, the acknowledgement of love shared and the validation of love shared. You can't validate love with discrimina discrimination. You can't validate love and officialize it with fear or with rejection. So, yeah, that's my food for the thought. I think everyone deserves to feel what they do. They all deserve to celebrate it the same and they all deserve the same sets of perks and privileges. And any other way, any other judgment, in my personal opinion, isn't based in love unconditional, but conditional fear. And that's all i got to say about that. Thank you.